We've been waiting for an iPhone 14 Pro design leak and we have great news today as we have one. How will this design change the iPhone 14 and what models will look distinctly different? Well today I want to talk about all the details behind this report and also I want to give you the latest on the iPhone 14 Pro Max release date and price as well. So we're now about a month away from WWDC 2022 and everybody is looking forward to some great new software features for iPhones and other Apple devices. WWDC 2022 will be Apple's second 2022 event as the last one we had was Apple's peak performance event and that happened in March time and the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 Pro got some additional gorgeous green colours introduced. But now it's time to look towards the successor iPhone, the iPhone 14. Today I'm going to give you guys the latest on leaks and reports what have come out for the iPhone 14 and then also give you guys the anticipated release date followed by the price. However, with the price, I'll be providing you guys a summary for all four of the iPhone 14 models and how they're shaping up with their features and design and also give you the prices based on the storage amount options. But first of all, let's first talk about a brand new iPhone 14 report. So we've known for a while now that for parts of the iPhone 14 there's going to be some design changes compared to what we have with the iPhone 13. The most noticeable change has definitely got to be on the front of the iPhone 14 Pro models. We've just had an official leak of the glass panels that are going to be put on the front of the iPhone 14 models this week. And as you can see here, the 14 Pro models this year, so I'm talking about the 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max, have got brand new notchless displays. The front facing camera and face ID will now appear floating at the top screen and the notch is completely gone. However, for the iPhone 14 regular and also the brand new 14 Max, what's going to be the newest model added to the lineup this year, you can see that a notch is still apparent for both of these iPhones. So next, release date and price, but now is a good time than more than ever to mention that all reports and leaks that you are seeing right here are not 100% proof that they will come true with the new iPhone. I can only present to you what reports or information that is out there. However, if you are watching this video, you are as curious as I am in knowing what is going to be said about the next generation iPhone anyway. So, just quickly guys, this channel recently got over 350,000 subscribers, what's well, absolutely amazing. So in celebration of this, I am doing a giveaway right now on this channel for this. It is for a MacBook Air, and this MacBook Air here is the 8-core GPU option with 512 gigabytes of storage, and I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber when we get over 400,000 subscribers. And all you need to do to enter into this internet national giveaway is put down in the comments below of what Apple gear or what technology gear you're planning to buy in 2022. And when we get over that 400,000 subscribers marker, I'll be creating a video on this channel announcing who the winner is. So if you are new here, make sure to subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell right now. Now just quickly, I do want to mention there are lots of scammers, there are lots of spammers, a lot of them impersonating myself and they're telling you to to WhatsApp you or to WhatsApp them or to Telegram them, ignore them completely or report them because this is not me. Like you've heard from me here, I'll be making a video when we get over 400,000 subscribers announcing any kind of giveaway on this channel and it will definitely be this time for this MacBook Air here. Well, with that out of the way guys, let's return back to the video. So let's do the release date and prices next. So based on no chip shortages or components being hard to come by from now until the end of summer 2022, it is believed that the iPhone 14 Pro and other iPhone 14 models will be out at the end of September 2022. How do we know that the release date is going to be the end of September? Well, let me just do a quick history lesson of iPhone releases. So if we go back to the iPhone 4S in 2011, this classic iPhone came out on October 4th team for that year. Then skip a year to 2012 with the iPhone 5, it was September 21st 2012. Then let's skip a few years ahead of that to 2016 where it was the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus and the release year for that was September 16th. 
In 2019, we saw the release of the iPhone XS on September 21st and the XR on October 26th. And last year, for example, with the iPhone 12 models, the release dates were October 23rd to November 13th. Now, mainly you can see release dates have either been kind of mid-end September to kind of end October if there's something special coming out or something a bit different, with the main exception of 2021, where it was a bit unusual for the iPhone 12 to come out a bit later, but this was due to COVID, so we did have a release on all the models. However, this year in 2021, we're back on schedule with the iPhone 13, and that's being released at the end of September, with all four models having a date of their release of September 24th. So for 2022, Apple will be planning an event just before this happens. However, we'll see another event for other Apple products like the MacBooks, iPads, Apple Watch, AirPods, and loads more other bits and pieces around that time. And if you want more info about those products, do check out my other videos on this channel and make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get the latest news on them. So next of all is a summary of everything we know so far, including the prices of the iPhone 14 models. So first of all is the normal iPhone 14, and this is gonna be now the base model. So it comes in at a 6.1 inch OLED display on it, and it will have a resolution of 2,532 by 1,170. And I'm afraid to say that refresh rate at the moment, according to leaks and rumors, is staying at 60 hertz. There's no mention really of a 90 hertz or even to get pro motion at 120 hertz. Also, as you may have noticed in the picture here, at the moment as it stands, the normal iPhone 14 and also the 14 Max, what you see in a second, is going to have a notch design. But however, underneath the hood, we're going to get 6 gigabytes of RAM and we're going to have storage options between 128 gigabytes all the way to 512 gigabytes. Then for the actual chipset, it's going to be the brand new A16 Bionic and that will feature four efficiency cores and two performance cores and four GPU cores. And this has been very much the same kind of design ever since we got the A16. 10 some years ago. The actual body is actually going to be made out of an aluminium body this time and then on the rear we will actually get a dual camera setup with a wide and ultra wide lens like we have so since the iPhone 11. For the actual battery size we've been told it's going to stay the same as what we got with the iPhone 13 so that will be a 3095 milliamp battery size but do remember the A16 will be more efficient so you should be able to squeeze a tiny bit more battery life out of this phone. That base this model though will be the 128 gigabyte model and it will be coming in at 799 US dollars. Next of all, we have the iPhone 14 Max, and really the specs are very similar to the normal iPhone 14. The only main difference, as you can see here, is that the actual display will be a 6.7 inch display, and that will be an OLED panel as well. The resolution of this will be 2778 by 1280, and again, that will be a 60 hertz refresh rate, no 90 hertz or 120 hertz ProMotion. Inside it, though, you'll get 6 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes all the way to 512 gigabytes storage options and I've got to just quickly mention as well it will still be a notch design but continuing on with those specs underneath you'll get the a16 bionic and again that CPU exactly the same as the iPhone 14 four efficiency cores two performance cores and four GPU cores again aluminium body and again dual camera with that wide and ultra wide but the battery inside it will be the same as the 14 Pro Max and that will be a 4000 352 milliamp battery size and in fact that is the same size battery as we got inside the iPhone 13 Pro Max. The base model of this will be 128 gigabytes and it'll be starting at 899 US dollars. The next phone after this is into the Pro world where we have the iPhone 14 Pro and this will be a 6.1 inch OLED display with a resolution of 2532 by 1170 and you'll get that 120 hertz Pro motion display just like what we got in the iPhone 13. One big change what you can see here in the picture and a lot of leaks and rumors are saying is the notch will be dropped for the Pro models. It's likely we're probably going to get like a hole punch or a pill design but it's not been confirmed exactly what this design will look like but we know it's not going to be the notch 
Underneath the hood though, we're going to be getting 8GB of RAM and there'll be storage options between 128GB all the way up to 1TB. That A16 Bionic again will have 4 efficiency cores and 2 performance cores, but the GPU core will actually have 5 cores, very similar to like what we got with the 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max. The actual main body this time is actually going to be made out of a titanium body and this is a first for Apple and this is going to be absolutely incredible and on the back we're going to get a triple camera setup just like what we've had ever since the iPhone 11 but we will also get that LiDAR sensor. Those camera setup will be a wide, ultra wide and a telephoto lens on the back and again that battery is going to be the same size as what we had with the iPhone 13 and also the iPhone 14 and that will be a 3095 milliamp battery size. The base model of this is 128 gigabytes and it'll be coming in at 999 US dollars. The final iPhone to talk about is the iPhone 14 Pro Max and this is the biggest one. Uh, this one comes at 6.78 inch OLED display with a resolution of 2778 by 1280 and again that will have a 120Hz Pro motion display just like the 14 Pro. Again it will have that kind of peel or hole punch design just like I mentioned with the iPhone 14 Pro but underneath the hood we'll get 8GB of RAM, storage options between 128GB all the way up to 1TB and then again that A16 Bionic with 4 efficiency cores, 2 performance cores and again 5 core GPU to be a little bit more special with the Pro models. Again we're going to get that new titanium body and then we're going to get that triple camera lens and the LiDAR sensor so I'll just say it again the wide, ultra wide and the telephoto probably again with a 3 times zoom and then that battery is the same battery that we will be getting in the iPhone 14 Max just like the one we got inside the 13 Pro Max and that will be a 4300 152 milliamp battery. The base model of this is 128 gigabytes and it'll be coming in at 1099 US dollars. So that is where we stand with the iPhone 14 models and as time goes on more features will be added to this list and then we will get a more complete picture. But if you want to get a more complete picture in the future and also get the latest details on leaks and reports on all the videos for the iPhone 14s, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. But for now guys with this video, if you've enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button and I will see you really soon. Take care.